Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode... 7. Oh my god, episode 7 already of Ahsoka. Uh, I'm really nervous because we've got like, what, one more episode left after this? That's really scary and I don't want this to be over. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this episode. Last week was absolutely insane. Uh, we got our Night Sisters, we got Thrawn, we found Ezra. Um, so let's see what happens in this episode. Could be literally anything at this point. And it might just be Zab and Kallus' episode. <laughs> I'm unstoppable, I'm sorry. That's a lie, I'm not sorry. Oh, we're back. We're back on Coruscant. Okay. So we're going to see so Hera's trial. Like a chopper in the chair. To go around acting like this is still a rebellion. And that is exactly what I was doing. I like this outfit. It's so weird to see her wearing something different. I see. And you protected the New Republic by ignoring the Rector. Oh, shut no, up. I protected the New Republic by ignoring you. Just like his son did. <laughs> What about the conflict on Mandalore? Exactly my point. Gideon was a warlord acting on his own. There is no proof of a greater conspiracy and thus no immediate threat to this republic. I like the Rome Gideon returns, name drop. Change quickly. <laughs> the possibility of what might happen or your unwillingness to see it. Tell him, Queen. Tell me what I see. I see a general who abuses her authority for personal gain. <sighs> will not stand for it. I hope Thrawn comes for you I first. I that General Sandula be court-martialed for disobeying a direct order. C-3PO? <laughs> 3PO, hello? I am C-3PO. Human-Cyborg relations. <laughs> Welcome. But why are you here? Honored Chancellor. Is he on here with a message from Leia? Yeah, but on behalf of Senator Leia he Orlando, is! May I speak? Yes! By all means. Oh, I'm so happy he's here! I object in the strongest terms. I object your presence being here. As I was about to say, the transcript shows that Senator Organa personally sanctioned General Sindula's reconnaissance mission to Cetos. Unaware that Senator Ziono had held a vote against such a mission. This is preposterous. The court cannot admit evidence of this kind from a mere droid. Mere oh, droid. Oh. <laughs> Chopper. Yes. Well, that seems to settle the matter. Unless you remain unsatisfied, Senator Ziono. You can deal with Leia yourself, buddy. No, Madam Chancellor. Hell yeah, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> Mere droid. Well, it is my programming and my pleasure to be of service, General Sindula. You, you have no idea what's on the way. Scared about the episode title. The episode title always terrifies me. Dreams and madness. Yeah, that is that is terrifying. In this war, you will face more than just droids. General she Lewis, has Sarge Ventress. Ventress, Ventress, name drop. Let's go. <laughs> Grievous, Dooku, and Ventress. It's my responsibility to prepare you. And a Anakin hologram. I won't always be there and look out for you. If we get separated or something happens, you need to be able to make it on your own. I know you can do this, Ahsoka. I love that she still believes in him. As Anakin, specifically, obviously. We made 20 or more of these recordings. This was his last one. We saw one in Rebels as well. Very thoughtful. I never realized. He was a good master. Interesting. 
And you were a good Padawan. Did you need something? According to my instruments, their speed is decreasing. Oh, she's got the whole box of them. Once we drop out of hyperspace, we find Sabine. And Why Ezra. Do propose we do that? If we have indeed... No, in fact, they're terrible. Astronomically terrible. Never tell me the well, odds. I said something. I did, but you never... <laughs> the worst part is, I hope you Oh, are I love their banter. I know you do. Makes me so happy. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. They're getting shot at. I am detecting multiple objects in our path. Perhaps we are safer in here. God damn it! Those per little babies! Holy fuck, they put mines everywhere! No, this is so sad! Leave them alone! At least the whales are providing some cover. But at what cost? Oh, they're jumping. You had to say something. I was being optimistic. Well, I'm glad they're able to jump and get away at least. But we kind of need them to get back. I mean, this is definitely going to bring attention to them at least. We are almost through. Oh, we do love a good dog fight, don't we? Maybe not through wheel bones, but. Dude, I need to know more about the night troopers. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. As you anticipated, the minefield was triggered by a pod of variety star wells. Here's everything the Inquisitorial database had on her. Oh, wait till he finds out that Anakin was her master. Her master was General Anakin Skywalker. Oh! Yes. The reveal. You knew him, didn't you? One With due respect, Grand Admiral, without pursuit, we shall lose them in the debris field. You're quite right, of course. Jedi are very good at hiding. They've been practicing that for years. However, we are getting to know Damn. our adversary. And if she's anything like her master, she'll be unpredictable and quite dangerous. Which is why we must control all variables. You know, he has his information. He's going to be very so scary. No matter which direction she takes, we'll always be one. This is what he thrives off information. He's the smartest fucking person. The fighters gave up their pursuit, and I can see why. <laughs> Aww. I've missed. I'm still trying to process everything you told me. The Empire was defeated. Battle of Endor. Emperor die. That's what people say. There's a new republic. Deb's training recruits and Harris. Deb's training recruits. What about Callus? Missed everything. Mention Callus. In a while. You know, I was beginning to think ah. I'd never find you. How did you? Ahsoka took me on as her apprentice. She what? Why? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> He's so Ezra. Go on. No, no, that's great. I, I, makes sense, of course. You, you trained a little before, back when I was first learning. I remember. Yeah, so where is Ahsoka? Is she coming? Yeah. Dude, look at these troopers. Oh, I'm so in love with them. Great mothers. We are at your service, my lord. <gasps> Ahsoka Tano lies hidden within the graveyard. Find her. Yes, Grand Admiral. <sighs> Either my scans are being jammed, or there is too much debris. Shall I try again? No. We don't need a scan. There's another way. Are you gonna reach out to her via the Force? Do you think your bond is that strong? Be 
seen. <sighs> Hasn't been all bad. Obviously, I made a few friends. The note has been great. Took me in when I really needed help. Set me up with this. Dude, if she hears this. She does. <gasps> Ahsoka. Hey, you all right? Speed. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so proud of them both. I see her. Oh. <gasps> the Jedi is there. Fuck. He just knows. He just knows everything. This is why you don't go against Thrawn, man. Friends of yours? Yeah. No. Contact Thrawn. Kill Sabine Wren and Ezra Bridger. Then take your place in the coming Empire. You won't help? Your ambition drives you in one direction. My path lies in another. The Zepho? Potentially? Impatience for victory will guarantee defeat. Oh, here they go! Here they go! Oh my god. The dropships, man. They just make me think of the clones. Like, just seeing them all reaching up and all, it just makes me... Just me, yeah. He really taught them to use slingshots. They're peaceful people. Peaceful, fine. You didn't mention defenseless. They survived well enough. Nice. I'm really worried about how the night troopers are gonna fight. Because I feel like they're not just... That, well, I mean, I know they're not just normal troopers, but... I'm worried about what they're gonna be able to do. Because they're gonna be strong. <laughs> Let's go, Mr. Hobbit Man. No! He's gonna get left behind. Balin don't give a fuck. He just wants to do his own journey, which, again, I still think leads to the Zepho. Like you, but lacks your sense of humor. <laughs> oh yeah. Great. <laughs> Lock the door. <laughs> we'll be fine. Now go. I'm glad the little wolf guy's in there too. You might want to give Ezra the lightsaber, maybe. Oh, she's crazy. Copy. Oh man. Oh, hello. This is a surprise. However, can't allow you to interfere. I don't have time for this. I kind of hope she doesn't kill him because I want to know what his mission is. I want to know what he was planning. Oh, she's got the double saber right this time. Dude, it's crazy to see uh, white blades and an orange blade. That's so cool. What thing? It's your lightsaber. Take it. You keep it. What? I don't need it. 
very funny. No, I'm serious. Take it. I gave it to you. It's yours now. Leave uh. the blaster. No. The force is my ally. That's all I need. Well, I'm gonna need more than that. Oh, let's go! I always say every time I want to see them make more use of the force. Oh, shit. I would love to see a Tales of the Jedi arc for Balin. Man's just got hit with a frying pan. Oh. Close. Nice. Oh. to free me. Perhaps. I don't have to. Hey! Nice one, Hu Yang. Nice. Okay, I'm glad he didn't die. Show us your mission, Balin. Oh, oh, this is what I'm waiting for. I'm so ready. I'm sorry, but I'm on the side of the night troopers. I'm sorry. Like, are they just are they just made up of magic? Are they undead troopers? Are they night sisters? The teams one and two use counseling second and tandem. Are they like humans that have been enhanced by Night Sister magic? It could be anything. Our side is short on mercenary. Oh. Where's Balin's gone? They work so good together. I really hope they have something special about them. Oh, Bibi! Wait, wait, wait! We could talk, Ezra. Or we could just... We don't you want to take us as prisoners? As prisoners? Huh? Or, Fire! Or... Oh, let's go! You're in trouble, Noishin. You bloody better survive, Hu Yang. Oh, well, these troopers aren't very impressive. I'm kind of disappointed. I think they are literally just undead troopers. I'm really disappointed. Like, I thought they'd start using magic or something. Or at least be harder to kill. Like the Jedi of old. These are unfortunate, but acceptable losses given the absence of. See, he can accept when he loses. That's what I like about him. He's admirable. In the grand scheme of things, with our enemy distracted, the cargo transfer is now almost complete. Which means we shall soon leave this forsaken place. Yeah, with all your dead nice sisters, apparently. She could not afford to lose today. Time is very much on our side now. Don't you end the episode here? And I should keep it that way. They're on, sir. Okay. I mean, they said fall back, and he quite literally fell back. Under your weapon. I can help you.
thought you were dead. I miss this reunion. Oh. <laughs> It's so cute! I cry! Oh, the way she's <laughs> holding his face! Wait, you thought she was dead? Clearly, I was wrong. Boo Yang! Hey, it's okay. Because you're friends. All friends. Guys, getting a feeling. I think I might be going home after all. Let's hope so, but let's not speak too soon. a crazy crazy jam-packed episode so much to talk about so much went on so many thoughts so many feelings uh t3po motherfucker just turning up out of nowhere heard the voice and instantly was like oh my god and i love that uh hera or sorry i love that leia came to hera's rescue in a way and was like nope nope sorry not happening um zio knows a dick we all know that um but yeah, um, I'm glad that she got her case cleared. It was really nice to see her in a new outfit as well. Um, it was <laughs> it was funny seeing Chopper on the chair in the courtroom because man's a war criminal and he's like just in this court just chilling and vibing on a chair. And I'm like, I think someone else should be uh should be getting trialed, not Hera. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was really cool to see. Uh, it was nice to have a little C3PO cameo. Um, I've always enjoyed C-3PO. I think he's quite funny. Um, and it's nice to have Anthony Daniels back, of course, as well. Uh, one of the most common people in Star Wars. So, yeah, it was nice. Uh, we had... Uh, oh my god, we had even name drops. We we had the name drop of Ventress, Dooku, and uh, Grievous. Just hearing... like, see, First of all, seeing Anakin Skywalker, seeing Hayden Christensen in the Clone Wars armor just still blows my mind, and I, I'm i never going to get over it. Uh, seeing that he had left her a bunch of like holograms and stuff, and that she has kept them in a box, and this was the last one that he sent, that he like recorded for her, and she still keeps them all and listens to them, and then she called him a good master. But just hearing the word Asajj, or the name Asajj Ventures coming out of Anakin's mouth, it just... It's something about it just hits me with nostalgia and then it takes me straight back, honestly, to Clone Wars 03 because Anakin vs. Ventress is one of my favorite lightsaber jewels of all time. It's in my top three. I know it's not canon, but it's in my top three um, and I absolutely love it. So just, and obviously Asajj Ventress is one of my favorite all-time characters too. And obviously she was a nice sister. I mean, she was kind of everything. She was like... Uh, she was a Jedi, she was a night sister, she was a bounty hunter, she was Sith, she was just, she went through everything, you know, she was just kind of, she was just giving everything a bit of a try, uh, but it was nice to hear, you know, the name drops and stuff, and then obviously later we had a name drop of Zeb, when Ezra and Sabine were talking, and she's like, oh, well, yep, Zeb's over, you know, training new recruits, and I'm like, oh, oh, and Callus is helping, right? Right? Um... It was nice to see Ezra again. I think that the actor has played him so fucking well. I think that he is perfect. He acts perfectly like Ezra. Like, there's no debating. Like, if you showed me that and said, what character is this? I'd immediately say Ezra. Because they've just got him perfect. And I'm so happy. Um, and, you know, seeing... Like, his reunion with Ahsoka was adorable. The way they hugged and the way she held his face was so cute. Um, I'm definitely interested to see where Balin goes. Because... People have, uh, like, figured out what the runes in the background say. Because if you notice in the previous episode, the runes in the background are very similar to the ones in Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. Um, and they have been translated into, uh, I can't remember exactly what it says, but it's to do with the Zepho, um, the Zepho that was explored 
in Fallen Order and it links to that. So I'm very intrigued to see how the Night Sisters connect to Zepho and how Balin has obviously sent some kind of greater power, which I assume is related to the Zepho. So I'm intrigued by that. I'm intrigued about where Shin lies as well, because she did seem a little bit conflicted. Um, I feel like she's chosen this path because she has to. Does she want to? I'm not sure, but I feel like she thinks that she has to and that there's no other option. Uh, do I want to see her turn to the light side? I'm not sure. I would like to see a truce between them. I'd like to see her not get killed. Uh, I would obviously like to see her and Sabine, you know, become enemies, the lovers. I think that's kind of the main ship. And I think even Star Wars themselves, the like main uh, Twitter account, they have been like posting edits of them just like staring at each other. Um, so I'm very intrigued to see like if that ever comes of anything or whether they're just like saying, hey, you're allowed to ship this if you want. Um... But no, I don't, I don't know if I want to see, because I feel like we have enough of people turning from the dark side to the light side. I'm more interested in seeing people turning from light side to dark side. I don't think, I don't think, and I don't want us to get that in like this, you know, a show, of course, but I just don't think we need any more dark siders turning light. But I would like to see a truce or some kind of thing going on between them, just something. But, you know, if she ends up joining them, realizes that Balin has just kind of ditched her and she joins them, I will not complain, honestly. I'll not be mad. Um... Yeah, it was a crazy episode. A lot happened. Uh, I am still very disappointed by the Night Troopers. I feel like we haven't seen them to their full potential. I feel like if the Night Sisters were there with them, then they could have powered them up with their magic and been like, yo, fucking go do this. But I just expected them to be more. You know, I expected them to be... Especially with having like their red bandages that the Night Sisters wear. I, I just expected them to be something a little bit stronger you know, fight with a little bit more oomph kind of thing. Like, I don't know. Maybe I am too early judging. Maybe we'll see a little bit more from them. Uh, you know, again, if they are around the Night Sisters, maybe they'll fight better, but who knows? Uh, the coffins still have no idea what's in them, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the dead Night Sisters that they're going to raise from the dead, or it could be Night Brothers. It could be anything. It could just be whatever, but I am very excited to see where we go. Next week is the finale. I really, really hope it's a long episode because I do not want a short episode. I want a long, 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 long boy. Uh, so let's hope for the best. But I'm so sad this is going to be over. And I really hope we get a, se a season two because I have absolutely adored every single moment of this show, uh, except for when Sabine was mean to the little uh, bat wolf thing. I forget. Howler. That's what it's called. A Howler. Uh, that was the only part of the show that I didn't like. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been fun and I'll see you guys next week for the finale. So if you liked it, make sure you subscribe uh, if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.